Could you give me an example of a successful impact strategy? Yeah, I think um, I would describe the, the work I've done on, on peat bogs as something that, that has worked for me that I can share from my own experience, where we wanted to restore damaged peat bogs uh, using carbon markets. So we'd done all the natural science to demonstrate that this was possible. Uh, and one of our papers ended up getting into a newspaper and uh, someone phoned me up uh, and her job was to actually restore peat bogs. And so she was like, hey, so I've uh, heard about this, this great new way of uh, getting money to do this. How can you get me access to these carbon markets? And I was like, well, uh, yeah, maybe call us back in 10 years time and we might have worked that bit of the story out. Yeah. But um, uh, so instead of calling back in 10 years time, I actually called her back quite quickly after that and said, actually, there's this funding call come out, we'd like to collaborate with you, maybe we can work together to solve this problem. And what that meant was that she then gave us access to networks of people who were in this world grappling with these problems, uh, who were able to then help us to keep our feet on the ground as a team of researchers and develop the kind of evidence, evidence that was actually needed to be able to create this kind of market and make this stuff happen. Uh, so at the end of the day, um, we did an analysis of the, 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 the whole policy and practice network of who was talking to who and who was using the research that we were doing. And we discovered that there was one organisation, a charity, the International Union for the Conservation of Nature, that was by far and away the most influential. So I made it my job to work with them. Uh, I eventually became their research manager, um, which gave me access to their networks and a lot of power and credibility in that world. Uh, and as a result of that, um, eventually IUCN then became the, the owner of uh, a new code, uh, a form of policy mechanism that for the first time is now enabling businesses to invest in peat bogs to do good things for the environment at the same time uh, as achieve their goals as, as a company. So uh, it is working. It took us uh, probably about 11 years uh, since that <laughs> initial phone call uh, to when we actually launched this policy mechanism and made this thing happen. Uh, but from the beginning, working with the stakeholders and the people who actually needed answers to the questions so that we, as researchers, asked the right questions and could come up with answers that would genuinely be useful. I can go even further with that one if you want for something interesting. Um, it's a slightly, um, in, yeah, it's, it's a bizarre story in that we, we reached a blockage where we couldn't get to the level that we wanted um, because we'd gone to corporate social responsibility officers um, and it turned out they didn't have any power in the corporate world so we had to go to chief execs mm -hmm. and because our networks didn't extend far enough we employed this fixer guy who basically for his half price charity rate of £500 a day opened the address book to us and so he was related through marriage to Benedict Cumberbatch and either related to or friends with half of the royal family and all these chief execs and politicians and all the rest of it and all of a sudden we started to actually make progress but we were monitoring what we were doing and had a really systematic strategy for getting to where we wanted to and when we reached a dead end we just tried something different and that was us kind of going to kind of, kind of the nuclear button of last resort, yeah. but it actually worked.